Hello crafty friends! My name is Alicia, but you can call me Crafty Owl. And it is time for one of my most favorite videos of the month, where I open my mail from you. I hope you'll stick around and see what came in my P.O. box this month. Each month I like to stop by with a little show us your sheet load slash happy mail video. I always love to see what is in each envelope and I think that you may too, so that is why I share. Now if you ever want to send me a card either for the show us your sheet load or just because, I do have my P.O. box down at the bottom of the description box. Also, if you are going to show us your sheet load, whether it's a card for this end of the month video, or if you share on YouTube or Instagram, I do have a video with all of those guidelines down in that description box as well. Let's go ahead and get this mail opened up. Because this mail is all the way from the beginning of January, I did have some more holiday and winter cards, so I will start with those. First up is this gorgeous card from Sandy, who is a member of my sheet load team. I love the craft and the metallic gold snowflakes. Sherry N from Iowa sent me this winter card with that adorable little penguin. I think the background was made with a Taylor Expressions Create and Quad stencil set. So neat. Pamela B. from North Carolina sent me this lovely Christmas card. I like how she has stamped and die cut the ornaments and some of them are even popped up. Beth B. from Indiana, who you might also know as Bourbon Creek Crafts, remembered me at Christmas time with this lovely holiday card. Nikki H. from California also sent me a Christmas card. She used the December 2022 sheet load, and instead of the little strip sentiment, she has added a cut apart in the middle. I love that and the wood frame on it. Christina M. of Illinois sent in two cards this month. Both were sheet loads. On the left uses December 2022, and on the right is a January 2023 mini slimline. I love all that shine on the December card. Karen W. from right here in Nebraska sent in a New Year's card that uses the January 2023 sheet load. You can't tell in the picture, but all those hearts are metallic gold, and the champagne glass is just filled with glitter and gems. So fabulous. Rochelle A. from Canada sent in this pretty example using January 2023, and it was full of firsts for her. She said she's been making cards for a few years using sheet load, but this was the first time she sent one in, and it was her very first slimline card she's ever made. So glad you gave it a try, Rochelle. Christine W. from Georgia also used January 2023. That circle pattern paper has some silver foiling on it, and I just love that sentiment. Perfect for card makers. Sharon H. from California sent in this gorgeous example using December 2022. It is so full of sparkle and shine. The background paper has silver and then there are silver glitter and silver foil snowflake die cuts. Thank you for the nice note as well, Sharon. Unfortunately, I don't know the first name of our next submitter who is from Washington, but I do know that I love the sentiment on the front. What a great fun use of January 2023. Rhonda T. from California used January 2023 for two Valentine's Day cards. I love the sparkly heart on the left card and how she has moved the focal point up for both. This is a great example of make it work with what you have and what you think looks best for your cards. Carol Ann of New Zealand has rewound it all the way back to April of 2021 for her card that she sent in. Love those florals and that awesome sentiment on the front. 
Marie B. from Australia sent in this pretty example using January 2023. I love those pattern papers and that pretty butterfly die cut. Iona S. from Washington sent in two sheet load cards this month. On the right, she has created a birthday card using January 2023. And on the left, she has used that adorable gnome on a sample using November 2022. Joan O. from Denmark has once again sent in a lovely set of their most recent sheet load. Not only is each one gorgeous and has its own matching envelope, but she sent me a couple pieces of glossy green cardstock, which I can never seem to find a green in my stash, so this will be great. And she sent me a little note in that card in the center, which she has fashioned from the sketch, but just made it smaller. Karen C. from Virginia has once again loaded up her envelope this month. At the bottom there was a postcard she had her daughter get for me while she was in Germany. It's definitely going to go up on my postcard wall. I got that pretty card kind of in the upper center with a nice note inside. And then she sent me some examples, both mini slimline and regular slimline using the January 2023 layout. Next up is a package from Jessica N. of Florida. On the left is a beautiful example using January 2023 with a matching envelope. And over on the right, she has decorated me a little personal calendar. And take a look at the inside. It is rainbow themed. Thank you so much, Jessica. Up next is a package from my crafty Irish friends. This card on screen was from Trish and check out the tail on the horse. It is a rainbow and then look at the fun label she has for the back of her cards. Not only did she send me that fun card with the rainbow horse tail, but she also sent in some sheet load cards. On the left, she uses January 2023, and the envelopes are made from foiled cardstock. And on the right, she shared some examples using December 2022. In the envelope from Rita were eight Christmas cards that use the November 2022 sheet load. I just love the variety of pattern papers, colors, and focal points on these. Up next was a package from Carmen, who you might know as Choose Joy with Carmen here on YouTube. And she sent me a little note and said when she saw this, she thought of me. And inside of this Stampin' Up! box was the most wonderful card kit. Now, I think you probably know why she thought of me with all of the rainbow colors. I just love it. Thank you so much, Carmen. I cannot wait to put these together. Something fun is the sentiments in this kit, not only is there English and French, but there's also German and Dutch. And one fun fact is my husband is Dutch, so I will be able to send those to his family that's still over in the Netherlands. And my daughter is taking German, so I thought maybe she could make some cards for her German teacher. Now, if you love this card kit as well, I will link Carmen's store in the description box below so you can go check it out. Thanks again, Carmen. Now, I might be biased, but I honestly think I have the most kind, talented, generous subscribers out there. If you agree, why don't you give this video a thumbs up? Thank you to everyone who took the time to send in a card or a lovely little gift. Each one of these packages and envelopes and cards and notes is so appreciated. Until my next video, which is going to be the brand new sheet load of cards, I hope you're all having a crafty day. Bye-bye. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch all the way to the end of the video. Now I hope that you'll consider clicking on one of the playlists or videos I have linked above.